Hey everybody, Anthony from Anthony in the Wild here, and today I am reviewing the Wonder Grill grill mats from Wonder Grill. Uh, I received this product for free or a heavily reduced price for my honest and unbiased opinion. And of course, of me, you know that's exactly what you're going to get, guys, my honest and unbiased opinion. Uh, if this video is helpful, like it and share it. Let's get the word out on this product. Uh, questions or comments, feel free to leave them. I will respond. And you can follow me at Anthony Fierro. That's last name F-I-E-R-O, first name Anthony. And that is here on YouTube, uh, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for a more detailed product review on this product, as well as uh, a lot of other great product reviews, too. Uh, so don't make, you know, make sure to like it and follow it. Uh, but let's jump into this. This is the, uh, the grill mats from Wonder Grill. And I'm going to go over what I like and what I don't like and introduce you to everything as you see here. And uh, let's get started. Um, again, the Wonder Grill is the name of the company. And these are the barbecue grill mats. Uh, as you see here, and I know it's kind of hard to see because they're black, but there's three different sizes. Uh, the first two uh, are the same size. I guess they're your medium size mat. And then this is your, your large mat here. Um, very cool. I'm going to read you the box here. Let's take a look at what it says. Um, Non-stick, easy to clean, durable, reusable, and can be used on both sides. Uh, one side is, um, it's got a, more of a kind of a textured feel, and the other side is, uh, it's more, it feels to be more smooth. Uh, my wife says I'm crazy, and it's the same on both sides. Uh, and maybe it is, but one side felt a little more textured to me. But either way, uh, it says, you know, you're good to go. In retrospect, if I had this to do all over again, I would not have ordered uh, the black mat. Here are the colors that you can get. Uh, I would think maybe like a, the green or the yellow, something a little brighter uh, that you can see on the grill and stuff. And not that there's anything wrong with the black ones, but uh, just personally, I think that it would be, uh, I wish I'd have gotten a more of a brighter color. Um, so this is PTFO free, which is good. Uh, flip it around here. It says Wonder Grill Barbecue Mat is great for the fish, chicken, vegetables, cheese, tofu, seafood, burgers, kebabs, steaks, ribs, pizza, cookies, and more. Wow. Uh, pretty cool. Um, and then the other side just uh, tells you a little bit more. Uh, and it says, and this is what kind of got me at first because it says, um, a set of three mats, blah, 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 blah. Uh, and over here, here we go. Uh, it says, do not expose to and or use at a temperature above 500 degrees. Avoid uh, harsh cleaning liquids and any tough scrubbers, okay? Uh, don't use sharp knives on it, no problem. Uh, but you can cut this to the desired size uh, and, it, and it doesn't fray. So um, I'm actually going to, I haven't yet, but I thought, you know, that's pretty cool. I might take one of these smaller mats and cut it a little smaller uh, to fit on my home grill kind of on the side. Uh, but of course, don't fold them, roll them, uh, and never, except here again, never expose to direct flame or use directly over heat source, use it only for indirect cooking on charcoal, gas, uh, or electric grill. Uh, wash before use. Um, please, God, don't be that guy that doesn't wash it before you use it. Uh, and it says it's dishwasher safe for the top rack only, uh, which I can only assume that uh, you would be sanitizing with that because uh, I did use uh, this. I haven't used the big one, but I did use the small one. Um, and it, it just sprays right off okay uh here's my experience with it uh we went camping and um i don't know why you'd cook burgers or steaks or you know my wife's like well you know some of those grills at the camp spots i mean if you go to like a pay camp spot are kind of dirty or if you're in the park or whatever and i thought well yeah you know it's pretty good you know you don't know what's you know it's not your grill right so not a bad idea um but i like the char marks on um on the burgers and steaks and potatoes and corn and stuff like that you know i'll cook them slow and then at the end you know uh, just really sear them uh, and get that char on there i really like that um but here and then it dawned on me what about breakfast the next day do you know how hard it is to cook eggs and bacon and pancakes and stuff like that while you're camping you gotta drag these pots with you or excuse me pans with you and all this stuff and then trying to clean them my poor wife or me if i'm stuck doing it you know what i'm saying trying to scrub that stuff at the river you know, I mean, come on um, no good. So I used these when we were done. We wiped them down, wiped them down with some water, and then rolled them back up and washed them when we got home. Um, 
with a smooth sponge and uh, you know some uh, soap, dish soap. So these things are, and then just let it drip dry. But these things are, uh, I mean, then it's not sticking to them. And look, this is the one I used. I mean, it, it's unscathed, uh, and you still get the grill marks. You don't get the char, you know, but you still get the grill marks. But this thing here, you put it out there, uh, boom. And especially on the where, like, where we go camping, the newer ones especially, the big fire pits that they put out there that has the grill on top, they have the huge bars. And... Um, they uh, you, you know it's it, it's wider uh so this actually worked really good put it on there boom eggs you know what i'm saying bacon and now and and we cheat when we go camp and we use the pre-cooked bacon so it's just warming it up i know but the coolest thing was pancakes you know what i'm saying pancakes are on the fire are great you get the little grill marks in them it still comes through uh you know with this so it's that was pretty cool and the kids loved it the grill marks on the pancakes and stuff but uh really neat i used it uh it worked good it cleaned up well um, like I said, nothing stuck to it. Um, and the main thing is, and I'm going to use this, um, you know, grill at the house and everything too. Uh, for some things, like I said, if power goes out. You know what I'm saying? You got the grill outside, but some things, how are you going to cook on a grill? Well, here you go. My wife's like, well, I want to cut one to use it in the baking sheet. And I'm thinking, oh, Lord, now I've lost one of my mats to her. So, um, but I mean, that, that is, you can put it in the oven and stuff as long as it's over 500 degrees. And that's the key. Um, Charcoal would probably be better. You can control more. It's definitely not an open flame. You know what I'm saying with that. Um, but uh, you, you do have to control instead of, uh, you know, just cranking this thing up and throwing a cast iron skillet on top. You've got to make sure we had to let the fire burn down. You know what I'm saying? And I don't have a temperature gauge with me when I'm out camping. But, um, you know, what I'm saying, I could hold my hand over it. I don't think it was 500 degrees. Wherever it was, it didn't sear or hurt the mat any. Uh, so it worked out pretty good. But like I said, I just threw it up there. Um, so, you know, fried eggs and scrambled eggs with some pre-cooked bacon, just warming it up. But then the coolest thing was, like I said, wipe down the pancakes, and that was really cool. Um, and I thought the chocolate chips we put in would, would you know, were kind of, I was really worried about I was sticking to the mat. Everything wiped right up, cleaned right up, not bad at all. Uh, just don't use a knife and be careful. Um, we took metal uh, utensils with us not smart and we were real careful not to uh you know what i'm saying we actually ended up using uh the little plastic or silicone sporks that we have uh to to, to move the eggs around and stuff because i don't want to cut these so be careful with that you don't want to cut on these or or use probably i wouldn't even use the metal uh spatula again on it i would definitely bring um uh you know silk plastic something like that i wouldn't use metal so, but all in all, five stars. I love this. It's great. It's good for if the power goes out. It's good for camping, uh, and it's good for some things. You know, here when you're cooking on the grill. And like I said, I, I'm, I'm at first I wasn't real sure about it because I love the char stuff, but um, the the versatility of this and what you can do on it, it's totally worth it. So, and their price is good to go. So get one for your friends, family, loved ones, people you hate. Doesn't matter. Uh, these things are pretty cool. So, anyway, the name of this company is Wonder Grill. Let me turn this around for you again wonder grill grill to perfection but these mats are pretty cool and in this pack you get three sizes. well two sizes three mats a larger one and two medium sized ones uh, and as uh, i told you before as it says on the bottom you can cut these to fit so if it's too big or, or whatnot you can always trim it up some so guys this was anthony from anthony in the wild i hope this was helpful um please like it share it get the word out on these guys they, they're making a good product so Let's pass that along and remember to like uh, and follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, uh, and here on YouTube. All right. We'll see you next time, guys. Thanks.